Yes. I okay, think and I'll, I'll check in all fairness to Mr. Fazio. But because there's so much made, I'm just trying to get the record straight here. I've been hearing so many comments, even from State Representative Dove, that there were a lot of accusations and a lot of pressure on him that if he didn't do certain things, that they were coming after him in so many words. Did you feel that same pressure? Yes, it was implied. I mean, the boycotts and the other things that were said were uh, totally off base. I think that it, we're supposed to live in a society when we disagree that we're not told that we're going to be boycotted against because we have a difference of opinion and one that is based on whether the law was correct or not. In this case, it wasn't, and they weren't willing to accept that. We have NAACP President Jerome Boykin on the phone. And obviously, he's a big player in all of this because he was a proponent of the minority judicial district. Uh, Jerome, are you there? I'm here, Morton. All right. Obviously, you've heard State Representative Joe Harrison. Uh, what's your take? What's your side? Tell us tonight on Bayou Town. Well, first of all, I want to say State Representative Joe Harrison is, is lying at this point. Um, he's doing what he's been doing all the while, lying to the African-American community in reference to the minority judgeship. Martin, the guy that started the deal about the minority judgeship is Joe Harrison. He is the guy that sent the letter to the Supreme Court to ask him to come down to Terrebonne to see if we have the caseload so we can create a minority judgeship. Joe Harrison is on record supporting a minority judgeship. Also, State Representative Gordon Dub is doing the same. Matter of fact, I just released a tape uh, with those guys at the NAACP uh, Martin Luther King Day when they got up in front of over 300 African Americans and said, clearly, a minority judgeship is needed for Turbon Parish. It's overdue. And if you want a copy of, the, of that tape, I'll be more than happy to release that tape to you. Yeah, absolutely. Also, Joe Harrison was clearly for the minority judgeship until Gordon Dove decided that he didn't want to support the minority judgeship. He talked to Harrison. Harrison was the guy that was supposed to carry the ball for the NAACP for this minority judgeship. But what did he do? He reneged on it because of the pressure he got from the local judges, the pressure that he got from Gordon Dove. That's the truth, Martin. Okay. Now let me ask you this. He says, and State Representative Dove says, that when it came out of the first committee, now, Representative Harrison just said a little while ago that I think he was okay with it up to that point. I think State Representative Dove would have been okay. But he said some things happened in that committee that were misrepresented that changed both of their mind about the way the process went. What, Martin, are, they, what are they talking Were you in that meeting? Yes, I was in that meeting. Right, what Martin, happened in that meeting? Martin, I want to say to you, we went to the committee meeting. If Joe reneged on carrying the ball for the minority judgeship, he was looking for an excuse to get out of it, clear and plain. He was looking for an excuse to get out of it, filing a bill for the minority judgeship. He was looking for any reason that he can possibly find to get out of it. He was supposed to be there. He said he was going to testify. Now, you ask him, is that true? He was going to testify along with Damien Bardon in favor of the minority judgeship. But then he walks into the committee meeting three or four times that I'm in other committees, I'm trying to do this and I'm trying to do that, like someone is stupid. Once he did that, I knew that we had problems with Joe Harrison and also with, with, with Gordon Dove. All right, but wait, you said you knew when he walked out you had problems with it, but on the Saturday by your time, right before the vote, you said he was with you. So wh when did it happen? I talk, listen. I talked to Joe, Joe Harrison uh, on many occasions. I also talked to him uh, that Sunday uh, before, the, before, before the vote. It was approximately um, about 8 o'clock in the morning. I'll show you my phone record. And he then committed again that he was going to support the minority judgeship. Martin, these okay. guys don't, don't, don't have a word. Uh, they say one thing and do something else. That's the reason why I have, I'm glad I have a copy of this tape to prove to the public that these guys are saying one thing to the African-American community and saying something else to the white community. But Martin, I also want to say, it's no need to rejoice in reference to the House voting down the minority judgeship, because don't think for one minute that this is over with. Yeah. 
I can clearly tell you it's not over with. It's over with on a local level now. That's true. But the reason why the NAACP, we did what we did, we wanted the, the Supreme Court to come down to see if the caseload was high enough so we can get an additional judge and that judge be a minority. That was one avenue. The second avenue, when that failed, to see if we can get the legislation to, to, to write law and, and to make it a, a minority judgeship for Terrebonne, that failed. So we go going to our third option. We knew in the beginning what we had to do. Now, we feel more comfortable once we file suit than dealing with local judges who can send letters up to Baton Fax, letters up to Baton Rouge in reference to, in reference to opposing minority judgeship. So clearly, we had to go through the different options that we went through in order to get our national offices to get involved. And also, it's not all that bad because during this process that we did, we was able to find out who is our friend and who is not. So we was able to see people who raised their uh, racist head up uh, against this minority judgeship. Mm -hmm. So at one point, we didn't know who they were. Let me ask now you. Now so we you, know more now than we ever knew before. Let me ask you this: You hinted to a a suit against the judges. Is that is that next? I didn't say a, a suit against the ju judges. What I'm saying is the NAACP and national office is taking a look at this deal, and we will we plan to file a federal suit uh, in the future. And that's the reason why I was saying it's no time for you all to rejoice like it's over with, because I can assure you this fight is not over with in Turbone Parish, because Turbone Parish need a minority judgeship. It will happen. We're going to fight until it happens, and I promise you we won't give up this fight. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're still on Thursday moving through the week. It's going to include the SCIA banquet. What a banquet it was. All next on Bayou Town.